Hey everybody, welcome back to the Magic Channel Card Tricks and today I want to talk to you about the best magic utility that you can get for your money. I'm talking the best magic utility ever. Okay, better than anything else out there. And best of all, this great utility is so inexpensive. I mean, it's literally like $3. And the other great thing is you can find it anywhere you can find it anywhere and you can literally do thousands of magic tricks with this i bet you know where i'm going i bet you know what's coming the greatest magic utility is this a deck of cards now it's not a trick deck it's not a gaff deck it's not a special deck this is a three dollar deck from your local grocery store um i do like bikes i do like bicycle cards but let me just say for the longest time, I wasted my money buying magic tricks, all right? And when you buy a trick deck of cards, they're usually like $30 or $40. And most of the time, most of the time, they only do one trick. So you're gonna spend $30 or $40 to do one trick. Now you're gonna say, well, yeah, but those tricks, they're amazing. Okay, they're amazing. but. After you've done that one trick for your parents or for your friends at school, who are you going to do that trick for again? People who get those expensive tricks really need to constantly perform for brand new audiences. Otherwise, you will never get your money's worth. Now, let me make an argument. All right. And hear me out. Don't don't turn this video off because you don't know what I'm going to say. When you buy a three dollar deck of cards, and you begin to learn the tricks that you can do, even with just this, I will guarantee you, you will get to a point where you will blow away anyone who uses a $30 deck or a $40 trick deck. You'll be a better magician than they are and your audiences will be way more impressed. Can you imagine if you gave somebody a couple bucks and just said, oh, go buy me a deck of cards and they bought a deck of cards and they handed you that shrink wrapped deck that they bought themselves and you busted it out and then you were able to go into 10 or 12 tricks and just blow their mind and then you can say here keep the deck you know it's I don't need it I got hundreds at home just think about how great of a magician you will be and how memorable you will be compared to the guy that's walking around with a deck of cards that cost him 30 or 40 dollars and he can really only do one trick so why do we buy those 30 dollar tricks why do we buy those 40 dollar tricks well, we buy them because uh, we're bored, right? We're bored. We haven't bought a new trick deck in a long time and we see a new one come out and it just feels like, oh, if I just get this next one, that'll be the best. But we get it and we play around with it and then it ends up going in a drawer and we wait for that next one to come out. The other reason why we would buy a $30 or $40 trick deck is because they are easy. They're easy tricks. Right? They don't require us to usually uh, practice any slights or get better at sleight of hand. And so they become uh, something that's easy to do. So we pay a lot of money for something that doesn't require as much practice. And I understand if you don't have tons of time to practice, uh, we don't all have hours to practice. But let me just make an argument again. If you are just starting off in magic, if you're young, you have all the time in the world to begin to get better at your card magic skills. Take my advice. Now, I'm old, all right? I am an old, old, old man who's been in magic for a really long time. Trust me when I say this. I wish more than anything in the world that I had started practicing sleight of hand at a younger age. I wish that I hadn't gone from trick to trick to store-bought trick and I have spent more time with just this. This little box with the 52 cards that are inside can do amazing tricks. Just think, this one deck, right, can do most of the tricks that are in this book. Now I say most because some of the tricks in this book are with trick decks, but look at that. You can learn and perform hundreds of tricks and that's just one book. That's just one book, right? What if you had a book like this? 
What if you had a book like this and you started to learn and practice sleight of hand and you could perform every single card magic trick in this book? You would be one of the best magicians alive. I'm serious. You could get a whole series of books all dedicated to card magic and really you're going to be able to perform 90% of the tricks in these books with 10 or 12 slights that you know how to do extremely well. A double lift, a false shuffle, learning to control a card to the top and learning to hold a break. Just learning those four is going to put you on the path to doing some incredible magic. And if you want to talk about what the best magic trick is in the world, you know, people ask that all the time. What's the best trick? What's the trick that gets the best reactions? The tricks that get the best reactions are the ones that are done with props that your spectator can go and buy themselves. Your best reaction tricks are going to be from the ones that use a regular deck of cards where if the spectator says, hey, can I see that deck? Can I, let me have that deck. You say, sure, here. It's a regular deck. Here, touch it. That's when they're going to be blown away. That's when they're going to be blown away. Because if you're, if you're constantly taking that deck back and saying, oh no, don't, don't, don't touch my $40 deck. Don't shuffle my $40 deck. Well, then of course, no one's going to trust you and they're all going to know that you're using trick cards. Don't, don't, don't think that you're the world out there or that your spectators don't know what trick cards are. They do. They know that there's trick cards. They know they exist. Believe me, trust me here. And this is the last thing I'm going to say. And I'm just going to repeat what I've already said. If you're young, if you're just starting off, the sooner you learn to stop throwing your money at the next great magic deck that comes out, right? Because it's probably three or four come out a year. As soon as you learn to stop doing that and you start devoting your time to practicing your slides and you start just getting a $3 deck and you take that same $40 and you buy a magic book instead, you will become a greater magician. Trust me, that's where you want to spend your time. You want to spend your time honing your skill and getting better at just this, just a regular deck of cards. Thanks for listening, guys. I hope it helps. See you guys next time. Bye.